We're also less than 24 hours away before we're required to wear a mask if social distancing is not possible, while the number of people infected rises. Many are saying it's time to reopen Connecticut. Channel 3 Amadeus News reporter Shante Passmore is live in the newsroom. Shante, you're learning a protest is scheduled for tomorrow? Kevin, yes. Some people are telling Governor Ned Lamont enough is enough and it's time to get back to work. Meanwhile, our state is bracing for a new way of life once the mask order goes into effect. For the second day in a row, more COVID-19 patients are released from the hospital and are home. Governor Ned Lamont called it another step in the right direction and a reassuring sign. But far from a victory run, he tweeted in part, This isn't over. We lost another 41 Connecticut residents and we mourn for their lives. Together, we can have an impact on flattening the curve. But if people tell you the pandemic has ended, they are wrong. They, meaning the people growing restless with a stagnant economy. An uprising of stay-at-home protests are sweeping the nation, from the West Coast to the heartland and soon Connecticut. Let the world know that the citizens of Connecticut are standing up for their rights, that our economy be reopened. We are given back our individual liberty. In a Facebook Live video, organizer Jonathan Johnson says demonstrators will protest not only the stay safe, stay home measure, but also contact tracing, citing privacy concerns. Connecticut Liberty Rally and the Libertarian Party of Connecticut are leading the charge Monday evening. Unlike demonstrators elsewhere, another organizer tells Eyewitness News it plans to maintain social distancing by holding a rolling rally from the state capitol to the governor's residence. The Connecticut Democrats shot back on Twitter, writing, Connecticut's denialist right-wing pro-COVID crowd will gather in Hartford to demand their right to what? infect the elderly and force more doctors and nurses to work 18-hour shifts? The protest is scheduled right before the mask and cloth face coverings are implemented tomorrow night. Starting at 8 p.m., people are ordered to wear one in public if it's impossible to maintain social distancing. This executive order also applies to the workplace. Employees will have to cover their nose and mouths at all times, and employers are expected to provide mask or cloth face coverings. If employers can't, they must provide the materials and CDC tutorial on how to make mask or cloth face coverings, or they can compensate employees for the cost to make their own. Live in a newsroom tonight, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Shantae.